yeah, so let's just jump right into this and get ready with me is that I have, um, I think your makeup is only as good as the tools that you use to apply it. So I did bring my Pretty Girls brushes, which you dolls know or may not know is that um, I do have makeup brush in mine. I designed these brushes many years ago. And if you're new or if you haven't picked them up, I'm going to start back linking them below. So look out for that. But um, I just traveled with them. So this, so today we're going to be using these to apply all new makeup products that I picked up during the Sephora VIB sale earlier. Um, I'll link that video below if you guys haven't seen it yet, but the brushes look like this. This is the AP set, and so these are all the brushes that come with it in the set. I did use this one um, just to kind of blend in some skincare yesterday, so I picked up a little product on it. But the brushes are very thick, very sturdy, very dense, which is amazing for making sure that it does not absorb the makeup into the brushes, but actually puts it on the face just as a transfer product. But they're super soft. I boast that these are anti-aging brushes because they're so soft on the skin that they're not tugging on the skin. They're not causing wrinkles. They are not disrupting the skin in any way. And then you also get the three eyeshadow brushes which you have a blending brush, you have your tapered flathead brush just for applying the product. This is for um, more of a dense application for cutting creases, for laying product, and then of course your eyebrow brush. And so I'll have all of this listed below. I had a video that I did on it many years ago, so I'll link that also here so that you dolls can check it out and get all the full details. But I still absolutely love my brushes. So dolls, today we are gonna be using, I got two new foundations during the Sephora VIP sale. And I brought both because I wasn't sure which one I wanted to try out. But I do have the Estee Lauder. This is the Double Wear uh, Stay in Place Foundation. The shade 6W1, which is sandalwood, which is my old uh, shade that I used to always get when I would wear this foundation. But I also did bring my Dior uh, Face and Body, the new one. This is the Backstage Dior Backstage Face and Body. This is shade 5N. So I was thinking that today that I would do the Estee Lauder, see how I like that one, and then on the next Get Ready With Me, then we would try out the Dior. So that's what we're going to do today. So as we're going through, I'll just try to name off the products for you dolls. Um, hopefully the lighting is okay and the sound is not bad with this fan on. I'm just going to jump right in. I'll let you know the products as I am using them. But this is how it looks. A little bit of the Estee Lauder on to the brush. You guys can see she is very thick very dense <laughs> no i'm just joking but she is the brushes are and i absolutely love them so i'm just going to put a little bit directly on my brush like that and then i'm going to start applying on both sides and around working the product in because it does dry to a um, matte finish which i love so you don't have to worry about the oil and i wanted to use this one today because i am in miami and the heat in Miami is definitely here in humidity. So I wanted to make sure to put on this one because I know, at least in the past, I have, since I've had this last, that, um, that it will hold up during the day in terms of not having to keep reapplying and that sort of thing. I also bring it down on my neck just to make sure you have a very even smooth blended consistency and I come across the eyes because I also want this to act as an eyelid primer um, I do that but also I didn't bring any eyelid primer I wanted to um, get a new painterly um, paint pot by MAC which I'm gonna do so I'm just stippling this in all over and making sure that it has a really smooth really nice finish I hope my camera settings are correct because it's not looking like they are but I put this all over the face like everywhere and I just kind of pressing patting it in which also helps it to just dry really even really smooth okay so the next thing that I like to do is to come in 
and work on my concealer. I did pick up two concealers, but one of them was the wrong shade. These are both by Makeup by Mario. These, I did get the darker shade, which I was thinking instead of taking it back, I could just use it um, for a contour or like a bronzy effect, a cream bronzer. So I'm gonna play with that a little bit today. But um, I did pick this one up with the intention of being concealer. Um, this is the 420. And then this is 660, which is very dark, but we'll see if it works as a bronzer today. So I think the foundation is set. It's drying, I could tell. And once it's in place, it sets. So I like to get to come in with the concealer rather quickly after, um, you know, putting on my foundation. So I'm just going to use the little doe foot applicator that comes with the concealer. Yeah, I can feel it kind of locking in. So I'm going to quickly just come in and place the concealer here under the eyes and I still do the full under eye application on my concealer but I kind of curve it up and out on the sides that way it still gives that lifted effect um, under the eye and then I bring it in to the corner I don't know what it's focusing on bring it into the corner and start to contour my nose bringing it around and then I also highlight down here to just kind of minimize the nose and once I do that I bring it down on the cheeks because that kind of pushes the nose back and flattens it a bit and then I do a little small line here and I come up then I come up on the forehead the chin and I'm not hitting any of this area down here because that's all going to be contour it out and I always go up, up with the highlighter or the concealer. I hit the lip just to kind of accent that. Anything that you want to bring forward you do with the concealer and then I come under the under eyes with this doe applicator under the eyebrows and just carve those out. And when working with creams, you want to move fast so that they can sit and set, but you can also get them where you want them to be before they do. And so one thing about your makeup, you just have to play with them a little bit and get them where you want them to be. So you're gonna, you dolls are gonna have to step out of y'all's man's faces for a little bit. Tell him, hey, I'll be back. I gotta perfect my makeup game. That way when you are doing your makeup, you know what works, what doesn't, how to apply, how long to let things sit. You have to kind of get into your makeup. And so I'm using the same brush um, just to kind of pat, well not to just kind of, but to pat the product in. And you want to make sure you're just patting it in place exactly where it is. And I'm not swiping it, I'm not moving it, I'm just, where I place it is where I want it to be. So you just go ahead and tap it in very softly and the brushes are good because they're dense enough that they're going to set that product in for you. You don't have to do a lot of work and it's going to make sure that it stays, doesn't disturb the foundation, it doesn't move the product that we've already put on which is our foundation and it's just going to also give a very airbrushed seamless finish. So everywhere that the product is you just press it in, tap 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 it in everywhere. I kind of come around the mouth area as well and it is going to work effortlessly and I kind of do brush a little bit down when I'm putting the nose contour and um, as you dolls can see it's very very simple okay and one trick is whatever product I have left over on my brush I do bring that in blend that in on the neck and I do make little circles just on the base of the, like the actual neck itself not under the chin because we're going to contour her out but you can see how the look is coming together and um, I pour brush to this brush now which is an angled tapered brush and that's going to just really get into here and cut that in or blend it in really good on the nose or you could use your small blood small brush here and just kind of come in and tap blending in down the sides using this brush the angle on here is so nice and then you can also come under I also come under my eyebrows and just kind of tap this in too because like I said the, the product is set I don't want to blend 
per se, the product album more so just get it in place and um, yeah, blend it out a little bit so that it's not so um, obvious, so that it's not obvious that you placed it there. But this brush is perfect for that. And I love it. Just for fine tuning under the eyes and set and just really get into those little small places. So next we're gonna come in. Um, I don't think I brought my contour brush, but I did bring what I used to contour currently, which is this uh, cream um, Fenty Beauty, the Toffee Tees. Um, it looks like this on the inside. And I'm gonna use the tapered angle brush since I did not use it, I haven't used it yet. Okay, and so I just kind of swipe down a little bit on that, pick up some product, and then I just apply it all underneath the chin area to remove any like, double chin or just to contour it out. And then that same product, I'm just tapping it on here on the cheeks, um, in the hollows on my cheeks, on the temple, and then coming around the perimeter of my face. So that's going to give you like a very natural, um, but also um, bronzy kind of look, which I like. And then I'll just kind of tap a little bit on the tip and come down the side of the nose. To kind of, and I'm always tapping, especially with this product, you guys. This um, Estee Lauder because it is a matte set. You don't want to be like swiping at it because it's going to pick up and kind of remove it from the face, and that's not what you want. So the brush we used before, we're just going to come in again, just to kind of clean up and blend in the work we've done so far, and then I do double highlight now that I've got the kind of the. I like on, I want a little bit more bright. So I do have this uh, Flawless Fusion Ultra Wear Concealer from Laura Mercier. If you do your shade match, I'll link it below. But I'll just use that dope foot applicator. I want to further enhance the bridge of the nose to kind of pull it in a little bit more. And then I will kind of lighten up under here as well and hit those same points again just to kind of bring it in. But this one is just a certain set and I'm gonna have to tap right there on the nose just so that it kind of shrinks that in too. And um, I was also gonna give this a try. This was the darker shade just to see if it would be good in here. Just to kind of see what she can do since we have her. I think it's gonna give like a really warm a tone overall. So I'm going to use that same brush with the same products and just press this in using the flat side of the brush here. Oh yeah, I think that's going to be really pretty. You guys can see that. And then I just tap this in here. Look at that. That's pretty. I'm keeping it. She's a keeper. And yeah, it's just giving like a really warm effect. A little bit on the nose. Ta -ta -ta. Oh, that's pretty. It's almost like a uh, blush. Okay. And then I'm going to set the wet products. The darker products, I'm going to use the 68P. Um, this is the matte powder foundation from Sephora collection. I've already hit pan on this, so you know it's the real deal. This is the larger brush, the SL5 brush. And I'm just going to swirl this in here, tap, tap, tap. And then we're going to start to just kind of press, but also blend up on the contour areas. That's looking good. Okay, and then once I blend the top, the, con the concealer back in, it's going to also bring those areas that we want to pop back forward which we love. And for that, I'm gonna use the One Size Ultimate Setting Powder. This is the pink powder that was, or is all the rave. I got the small one just to give it a try. And we're gonna, um, first we're gonna, of course, set ahead and press in that um, brighter highlighter for the under eyes. Just tapping it in and then just stopping right exactly where you placed it. We don't want it all over. We just want to overemphasize 
these key areas where we placed it really gently like that but blending it in so that you know it's in so I like it just really centralized that's going to give you a little pop under the eyes and then it's not like really pressed all the way in because you do want it to show so that's that and I'm going to set that with the NARS Laguna first and then we'll put a little bit of the pink powder on top just to see what it's giving. Using that same brush, these are awesome because it's for creams or wet products and dry. And then we're just pressing it right on top just to take that oil out, to set it in place so it's not moving, shifting when you sweat, it's still gonna stay put. And also here, because that's gonna make this under area pop even more. And you guys can see it's coming together amazing and crushing it right in there. So then let's try out this pink setting powder. I'm just going to tap it off on the lid of the product itself. And then I'm just going to pick it up on my brush, same brush, and press it in. Okay, so we do that and I'm just putting in all the areas where we have highlighted very lightly and it does have a pink tint it's a translucent powder but um, it does have a little bit I put a little bit on my brows or I come across those just to set them in place so they're not getting oily and then I will come back with my same contour brush that we use to apply and just kind of tap and blend the bronzer back on top and I do a triple set, balls, triple set, so I am gonna put a little more concealer right on top. Now that it's set, just to give it like kind of a more skin-like finish. And um, I'm not doing a lot for eyeshadow today. I did bring the previous place little honey palette, uh, the Rebel Honey Palette, it looks like this. And I'm just gonna pick up a little of this color, put it across the entire lid. And for me, that's gonna be enough. I'm using just a um, more of a splayed brush. This is the EO3, just to, you know, it's just more of a lid cover, so I'm not wanting it to be really concentrated. And I'm just gonna go across the lid and lay that color in there like that. You wanna always come back and check your product and see if, what do you need, you know what I mean? Do I need more coverage here, there, where? And then lastly, guys, I'm going to go ahead and blend this out. And this time I'm not going to set this. I know that seems like a sin, but I'm not because I do want it to give kind of like a wet movement. Wetness has movement, so that's going to give more of a skin-like finish um, along with the setting spray. So that's what I do and it works for me. And I'm not blending this a crazy amount because I do want my nose to contour the show. So I'm just kind of tapping it with my finger or you can use your brush. So I'm gonna put my finger. Then I'm gonna spray with the Charlotte Tilbury spray, the airbrush. Um, I like to spray it off a little bit first and then hit the face so we know what the spray is going to get. It's got a little fragrance to it. This is my first time using it, of course. And um, then I don't have a fan with me. Let's see. Up close, I was looking. And that just adds some moisture back in and makes it more skin like. You can still so I have the refi. Oh, my battery is dying. Camera can follow me to it. Just refi eyebrow um, pomade product. I'm super excited about as well. And this is in the shade Deep Brown. And I'm just going to it has that cool wand. Just gonna kind of splay or push up my eyebrows, and this is supposed to set them. So hopefully, this is good for today. Doing it on both sides. Let's 
see what it's giving to give more of a laminated effect I suppose <laughs> we'll see kind of concentrate it on the ends here in the front and then for um, the eyebrows I did use an LA girls perfect precision just a cold pencil on the lips for today we're going to do the MAC cork I'm sorry, MAC Chestnut Lip Liner with the Honey Love um, lipstick, a matte lipstick. And lining the lips, overlining at that, a little bit overlined. New, so it's kind of got a little wax on it. Tend to bring mine in a little bit more too. Outer, out and in. Okay, and then we'll apply the lipstick. It's right there. Then on the top, I'm using the Fenty um, Beauty. This is the glass, the gloss bomb glass slipper, just to put a little bit of shine on the top. Ooh. This right there in the middle is where I like to put it. And then, oh, it smells so good. And then top it in. Sorry, 